Hello there. In this first video, I am going to show you how to focus using astrophotography tools. I'm first going to start it up. This will take a minute. I'm preparing to do a whole bunch of these really quick videos on how to use astrophotography tool mainly for idiots since I seem to be the uh, king idiot because it took me a long time to learn how to use this program as you'll see I'll go over some of the finer details but I'm going to produce a bunch of short very short videos less than five minutes first off I'm going to connect the camera the camera is already connected and I'm going to turn on the cooling aid to get that up and running Okay, that's up and run. That'll, that's going to start to cool down to minus 10 degrees. That's my target limit. And I'm going to turn on live view. And now before I go that, I'm going to turn uh, clear it because this is when I first started doing this. This is what I saw, and you'll notice that the it, there's not much to look at here. You see a very small faint star there. And uh, I've turned up my bin to 4.4 4, uh, 4 by 4, which is very high, and I turn it on to two second exposures. And this is all I've got. And if I press this button, you'll notice it turns up the exposure. This was, uh, I didn't know about this, ex this button for about seven months. I've been using this program, wondering why I can't. Uh, frame and focus. Now there is a frame and focus tool over here, the focus aid, and if I scroll on a nice big star, um, you'll see it jumps around a bit. Actually it doesn't jump around at all right now. Oh yeah, here it goes. It's starting to jump around and this really never worked out really well for me, especially when I was uh, uh, focusing. It, it just jumped around way too fast and so what I did is I purchased a button off mask and when I first bought the button off mask again I didn't know about the that button right down there to, to make it um, it turns up the exposure and you'll notice you really can't see anything so I said what in the heck why do people like this program so much but anyways, I um, I finally found out about this button here, and voila, there you go. You, you know, using the button off mask, you can see a nice um, clear star, um, the pattern on there, the diffraction grading, and it and it's and it focuses really well. Anyways, after I um, typically get a uh, frame and focused, I will. I would go through my star alignment procedure with the camera already on here. Anyways, that's all for this uh, first video. As I said, I'm going to produce a lot of other short videos on the usage of this program. Ivo, Ivo the developer of the program, did a really great job on um, explaining stuff, but still, I, I need to see it being done. So that's what that's the purpose of these uh, short little videos. Anyways. It's a pretty simple program. It's really good. Uh, that's all it is to uh, frame and focus. See you later.